So um, we have been discussing for quite some time about the Holy Spirit. And I know all of us know the centrality of the Holy Spirit in the church. Why are we discussing about the Holy Spirit? Even if you heard the messages of the Lord at this time, even the teachings of this week from the prophets of the Lord, you realize that he is now emphasizing on the need of the Holy Spirit. If you heard the one here, he wiki, you heard him and, and, and you know, majorly uh, uh, um, uh, trying to push the agenda of the church, having the Holy Spirit. That, that we may become a people now filled of the Holy Spirit. And I was telling somebody, do you remember the time when the ministry began? And he would come into the field at the stadium. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and give them with the Holy Spirit. And then he will say, touch, touch. You remember that? And that time, if you remember, people were heavenly. People wanted the kingdom. Because they were filled by the Holy Spirit. But after they were filled by the Holy Spirit, look, look at her. You will know she was blind. Hallelujah. Amen. So, that time, People were filled of the Holy Spirit. There were zero cases in the church, less. There was no problems. But the moment that we stopped now seeking the Holy Spirit, issues began to arise. Is it true or false? Then we need to go back and ask that the Lord may release the Holy Spirit. Because he's saying the Holy Spirit can still leave you. When you are given the Holy Spirit, it does not come into you permanently. It depends on you. If you are going to stay with him, or to resist him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So I will read some scriptures. Because if you remember well, where we began, I think we began from John 3, if I'm not wrong. And we, we saw how, you know, how uh, Nicodemo came to Jesus at night. Lord, I want to be born again. How can one be born again? Then Jesus tells him, by the power of, the, the, by water and by the spirit. Meaning, salvation cannot be complete. Unless you have gone through the two. Because I did not, uh, as the bishop, I did not create the kingdom. And so I cannot create the rules for the kingdom. Unless the Lord Jesus creates. And if Jesus said it, then that is the truth. And no one can change it. That you have to be under the same characteristics as the people will enter heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. He's saying, then you come and we read the book of John. Was it past John 3? Again, if I, don't, if I do remember well, around 12, 13, 13, was it? 9. 9 to 10. Where he says that if at all anyone is born of God, he cannot sin. If the Holy Spirit is inside you, then we cannot find you sinning. The reason as to why you sin is because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Now, I will just point out two or three more things today that will help you. Hallelujah. So I'm saying what we will read today will, I'm just emphasizing as we move on. Because baby Brenda is here. Pastor Ron, I'm going to 
And because the testimony is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of the wonder working blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't need to ask if she was blind. Just see her behavior. Hallelujah. Just watch her behavior. I've been sitting there observing. I do like observe, observation. So that I have clear information. Today, having known now, I want you to understand something about the Holy Spirit as we continue with that study. That without the Holy Spirit, you cannot talk about being a Christian. You cannot even introduce yourself as a Christian. You cannot introduce yourself as a believer. Because sometimes everybody nowadays says they are Christian, but believers are those who believe are few. But those who profess are many. So I'm saying, you cannot come out today. You know for me, I'm born again, I'm going to heaven. You see, when you go to hospital, you are checking it again. You Damo. In a chukuliwa. Keep karotigi. A sample. Keep it karotigi. To check. Age chigile. If truly there is any Lord inside. Age ager got committed man kia nateri enori. Then from we we they call it is it the viral Lord or what? For no, any disease. Ana nyanda age chigul. It is checked. Kichigile. The bacteria are there. Mite nyota kuchigi. Then you can be oh yeah you you are sick. Age magele e man mnyani. But if it is checked and it is missing. You cannot say you are sick. Okay, it's an awkward example I'm trying to use. Example. What I'm saying, anyhow, if salvation is in you, Hallelujah. Amen. Because you know salvation makes you abnormal in a way. You are, normal human beings don't enter heaven, by the way. Let me tell you today. It is difficult to enter heaven. Because when, when the Holy Spirit comes, He changes you, you become mad. So, what causes madness should be checked a bit. If it is existing. Because one thing is that Kibi you will ask my Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba mwenye kitani lazima apike nduru ana majo. Ama afanye fucho. At least there must be some characteristics. So if you are, also you are filled by it, because you remember the Holy Spirit. When, you, when they were filled, some people thought that they were drunk. But I tell you, my inigo kwan. Ya kumbwa lefi wa mefika kwenye kiti. 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 Ya kumbwa lefi wa mefika Because when it comes, things become chaotic. Ya kumbwa lefi wa mefika kwenye kiti. Ya kumbwa lefi wa mefika kwenye Yes, people behave in an abnormal man. So, when you go to church, it's not that good. When you go to church, it's not that good. When you go to church, it's not that good. You will see that there is a need for the Holy Spirit. Here. When worship should be going on, in a church that is filled by the Spirit, you find that someone else is praying. In the corner there, being tight by the worship and is going before the Lord. Another one day is celebrating and jumping. God is just worshiping like this. Evidence of the Spirit of God. It's because it has the same character. It, it, when you take alcohol, it even overpowers you. There now comes a time. Come on, me kunywa san. 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 Come on, me kunywa san
Ina central point. At the force of gravity in our chair. Then he is now saying. When he the believers observe these people. When they, the people of Jerusalem observe, I will read that scripture later. When they observe the disciples after they receive the Holy Spirit, they behaved in a way like drunk people. Because uh, that, means, that means some people are falling. Mungina <laughs> But now, because I was teaching about it, Ephesians chapter 4, verse The importance of this spirit of God. The importance of this spirit of God. You cannot enter heaven without the Holy Spirit. You cannot. You cannot even think. Because the Holy Spirit comes and transforms your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians in it. And my Bible says. Uh, is it uh, four? Are we Ephesians four verses thirty? He says, "Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom." You were sealed. So when I even heard uh, Pastor Terreria talking about a discussion that is the Holy Spirit still existent, I get to wonder. Because he's saying, Because Christian, you need a seal. And a, a, a seal, according to me, don't open and if the seal is, do not think, drink if the seal is broken. But the If you go somewhere, there are some things. If you go and pick a person, and you find the seal has been broken. Don't take. He's saying, Come on, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. He's saying, because by Him, you are sealed for the day of redemption. Until the day of redemption, He's the one that keeps you intact and tight. He's saying, the Holy Spirit. What is a salvational seal? If the seal is missing, then the goods are no longer safe. And a soda. Fresh. Then now can breathe and say. Because if that thing has no seal, it is invalid. It is not good for you. And he said the Holy Spirit is the only one that can seal your Christianity. A Christianity without, without the Holy Spirit is a Christianity without the seal. A church without the spirit is an unsealed church. Meaning, it has already been opened by the devil. You know why we use uh, 
When you bought your vehicle, did you get polythenes on the seat? And... But, but I know you bought a new vehicle, right? But did you get polythenes? You did not get it. It was already used. Even though it was new, the seals were already removed. Because a new vehicle, it was used. It was used. It was and he's saying the purpose of that seal is that it has a great significance on the day of redemption. We sing people will realize they don't have the seal and they have been saying we are already redeemed that will, that will be the day of redemption he's saying there is a day to come. And that day, the kind of power that God sealed you with will be the only thing that will validate the continuation of that process. Right now, you are free. You can say, I am filled of the Spirit. I even dream. I see vision. I do this. No, it's okay. But one day will come. Because I want to ask Pastor Terrell. What was the material? How many times you have Everybody dreams. That's why you are told when you have a dream, you wake up and pray. Because you don't know who brought the dream. That's why even the Bible says, test the spirits. So he's saying, the Holy Spirit is to come and put a seal on you. So that when the day of rapture comes. The ones who will be taken up. They will be taken to the kingdom. Are those whose seal is still intact. And I will read another scripture. Because seal, seal, you know what seal starts for is genuinity. Originality. If you take something which has been sealed, and then you find that there is a kept standard, they are saying it's original. It's genuine. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, then even your salvation is not genuine. In the, in the business world, your salvation is like the salvation from China. They say China has a, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying China has fake things because most of the things we use are from China. And you are China. But I'm saying it is said so. <laughs> First Thessalonians, chapter 5. I will read very few scriptures. First Thessalonians. Chapter 5. 17 to 19. The Holy Spirit. Because many people in this altar. I'm saying, you know what? I belong, to this, I belong to this ministry. Being led by the prophets of the Lord. And very mighty. But the question is Do you have the Holy Spirit? Even now, as the rapture approaches, I think the best thing you should be working on to find is the Holy Spirit. And that's why I said here before you cannot stay here. And then bigger kifu hapa. And he's saying, 
You cannot be in the church. And then now say, I have the Holy Spirit. And then, you are sinning. You are hating. It's It's saying, I'm filled. But he's saying, Don't you know that the Holy Spirit is the seed of God? It comes from God. Yeah, When it enters into you. And why is it called a seed? Why is he saying that the, when, whoever has the seed of God? You know that even the Bible considers kama mchang. That's why learning you are going to lend it. And then he comes and says the seed of God. Meaning, if you go to a good soil to then plant the seed of God, then if especially Okipanda, the seed of God should grow in you and cover you. And you should be in a position to allow it to grow. And when it grows, and it is the seed of God, what are the fruits you will see? Kindness. But yet we have not reached there, but I'm just trying now to bring and say, you will see the fruit of the Holy Spirit are kindness. Joy, patience, love. Even for self those things, if you don't have them, then you don't have the Holy Spirit. But let us read because I don't want to go ahead of myself. This is for another day. First Thessalonians 5, 17 to 19, it says, Pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances for this the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. He's saying, Do not quench the spirit. When somebody starts and says the Holy Spirit, I'm a Malisa even whoever wants to chase the Holy Spirit away will not say, go out. He will just say, on this charge, we don't talk about those things again as the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, here, the Holy Spirit has done His work. Yes, go. So, so, even the work of the Holy Spirit does not exist no more. <laughs> but the Bible is saying here, do not quench the Holy Spirit. There is saying, do not resist. And the Christians are going there. And they are reading the same Bible that I'm reading. And then they resist the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Do not resist the Holy Spirit. And I told you when people have the Holy Spirit, they pray. They pray a lot. He's even beginning by saying, pray without ceasing. And I used a very in interesting example that I will always use. Because I was asking. Because I was asking. Because I was asking. Because if you are going to invite somebody, I'm then your attention is not optional. But the attention is not optional. Yes, we are busy. 
Nikifika ukiwa na shughuli I will take time before I come back again. I will go and think about it. Tabab go atiko. I will go and think about it. Tabab go atiko mnye. If I will ever come back. Tabab go atiko mnye kote taka itawe eksei. Because if you invited me, you needed me. Amun kote go go ita chamko go ima kinonge. But I've come and then I've become irrelevant. Lagi ni goro anyo lagi ni me mage nangi. So was I important? To go to school about how many? Now how about the Holy Spirit? We welcome you. 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 Olha se tinha que essa saída que na Hong Kong nega assim. Já como para dar isso para o outro lado dessa saída com a casa de Biashara. The Holy Spirit has come, yes. Como quando está morrendo ele tirou ele man. But we don't work to keep him. Lagin de magem acha que é burro aqui nem. Yet he comes because he needs fellowship with you. Amun não é amun macha é amda. Because the Bible is saying. Amun mo a Bible gole. Adam. Adam é. Before, at the beginning there, at the beginning. Então o neto é nuno. Adam used to have fellowship with God. And God would come. Imagine God coming and ask, Adam, where are you? He came to the normal position because God is used to fellowship. But when he reached to the place, he asked, Pastor Eric, where are you? And I said, Pastor Ron, if you teach the whole day, and then in the whole day, you only have 10 minutes of prayer. I tend to feel that is unjust to the Holy Spirit. And I said, here, must you close your eyes in order to pray? Can you pray even in the staff room? And watching things. You can pray, right? Because prayer is not from the eyes, it is from the heart. Okay, why we closed our eyes is because we want to avoid double mind. We want to give, we want we don't want to give divided mind. We want to give the Lord just so that unajua sometimes unataka kuomba alafu unaona mtoto anaanguka una Kasartaka imacha isagigira na kwa kumati kwa utasawa ata kusema amina. But if your eyes are closed then you will say a good amen. Imuai amen na kada arango mnye. And then when you close your eyes like this you don't see nothing else. You are just hearing in the name of Jesus. The, the focus is just Jesus. But if you open your eyes like this, you will see DJ's here. That's why even praying, the Bible says you close the door, right? Go somewhere hidden. That now, when your prayer is now more serious. But I'm saying, for instance, you are at your workplace. I mean, you, even David says, Oh Lord, listen to the meditations of my heart. Whatever the heart is saying. And I remember, I don't know if it was here. And in heaven, you, you heard from the testimony of Kauria. And I wonder where Kauria gets words. See, in heaven, everything is, is extra. When you reach to that realm, spiritual realm, everything is extra. Because Kisamba Inazidi totoro. Si reno ata nagigure totoro. Ne ya no tu igon mi. Kwa waswaili wanazema giza totoro. And pick up swaili kumwa kwa totoro. Lakin sasa yo giza totoro inye munazema. Ay viki ile giza igouko. Ako nata nuriti ya nata natu igon mi. Siko maiti nata na mite ni undan. 
So also nilikuwa nasema moyo wako. Kuna vitu ambavyo sasa singine unasema kimoyo moyo. Hao dungu ni tabato siku. Hata sasa hivi ukiwa umeketi kuna vitu ambavyo unatisema. Dogi mtu ni spiritual wall. Kama utapeleka katika nchi ya kiroho. Kuna ngira tispika ini. Nikara kwamba umewekewa speaker. Pole kigere kitu kigere kitu hata kitu kanisa. Kwa kwa sababu pole mgule ndende re. He he. Kaisa asaba. Wala hizo ziviwe. Hapa kwa kwa kanisa. Ile yuko mimi cha kanisa. Na nafuata kabisa message. Hako hizi biko missing all your heart. Mimi ngere kabisa kuna mwenye anaangalia sana. Yana kwa yoto. Ako mimi yani tuke mwa mgule dake kwa zenu li. Kila macho moyo inasema inasikika pale chu. Kwa hiyo jekegere jitani ni very very powerful kama sabare. Hapa tunaona mtu mwenye mwenye nguvu sana anajitikia. Na akifanya hivyo. Lakini niko tuke kwa sababu je mimi mgule da. Lakini yale ambayo yanasikika ni yale yenye iko kwa moyo. Mtu mgule da ngi soko tukere. Moyo unapiga na ngina lale gele nao kitinye support. Sasa ngina wanasema kwamba tuko na support. Kuna ngongo lolio tita kabisa ko lene na na support mtu mwingine na nena na kidogo ya kitore kitore support kidogo tsamaliza tsamaliza ndega za mugule dem sengwe tware ya go ya zita huko mbinguni inasikika inasikika they have to speaking other things up there kuna lolio mugule da tukuketere embarago that is why god is saying not na mune mwa acho have to ask yourself why the lord is saying they are lips so spirit ya benga amuna so matata ya kolemi kolemi tinga ya kolemi ya afa ma <laughs> I don't want to go off. He's saying that do not quench the spirit. Come on, I'm more getting the time in immediate. The Holy Spirit should overpower you. Time to tell you what you're about. Your mind and your heart, your soul. He comes and joins them together. Go to it. To work for a similar purpose. Even if your body tries to do like this, the Holy Spirit and a finely. That's why you hear that it is the Holy Spirit who is keeping the Antichrist away. Kuna tamri na tili nata negiri nda nata nbinga Kristo. Anam finyili achi. Kuna tili tinguen. You don't understand. Igu to singu na. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit of God is missing in the church. Many Christians even today do not have the Spirit. But when you see their tie and their suit, and then the title. You hear bishop. You hear overseer. You hear right to do what? It's good to have a title. But do you know that you can have a title? But the Holy Spirit has been taken away. You can ask Saul. He remained with soldiers. But the Holy Spirit has been taken. It's just operating in the body as the king. And the body and the power of this might of this body, but already God has left. How many have read of that story? So you know. That it is possible for you to be even a bishop like me to be. And in fact, preach very powerful. But you don't have the Holy Spirit. To preach powerful is a different thing. I mean, I told you, imagine Jesus meeting with the devil. And then the, the devil is evangelizing Jesus. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anagimo kwa leo ni kisomaji na wengine. Amasi ni na ambaya duya. Kwa kibaisha tawimiri, kibaisha tawimiri kwa mda. Yes, ni rom takatifu alimtumia. Kibaisha tawimiri. 
It is possible to be here. I don't have the Holy Spirit. And you know, the fact that we are in the church highly confuses people to think they are right. Because somebody in the church is confident they have the spirit. But have you ever checked your life? That is why you remember the scripture we read around last year or the other year in the book of Corinthians 5, 1 Corinthians 5. Verses 5, 13. When, where, where, 13, 13, 35. Where he was saying that investigate, examine yourself whether you are still in the faith. Maybe we can check that. Because many Christians go wrong. This is the time to find out. The truth. I'm finishing in around 10 minutes. Because we have a meeting here with the leadership. 13, 2 Corinthians 13 verses 5 says, Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourself. Or do you not realize this about yourself? That Jesus Christ is in you. Unless you will fail to meet the test. Because He's saying, you can profess Christ, but if you don't examine yourself, you will be confused by the thought that you think you are with God. Until you forget to check your actions to see whether you are in the faith. In other words, it is good to believe you have the Holy Spirit. But it is the best thing you will ever do help yourself to check if you have that spirit. And how do you check? He's saying, check whether you are in the faith. And the Bible says, if anyone is sinning, then he is not born again. If anyone continues sinning, it is a sign that he did not receive what is from God. Because if you receive whatever comes from God, you will stop sinning. Now, let us go to two more scriptures and then I will be done. Hallelujah. Are we together? Is somebody understanding anything? Or I'm just making some good noise. Hallelujah. If you read the book of John, what is that? The book of the book of John. Hallelujah. I think there's a problem maybe with one of the cables or one of the uh, sockets. John chapter 20 verses number 22. And when Jesus had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Again, come one Nitoni, go Busi, Agolenti, or Taita Mirmidian at Tilin. And if you read up there also in 19, he says, On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the door being locked where the disciples were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in amongst them and said to them, Peace be with you. They have gone to hiding. They have gone and hide until Jesus comes. He realized that these people lack something. They need the Holy Spirit. He breathed on them. And told them, receive the Spirit. 
That is one part of it. What else did Jesus say? Immediately after this book you have, we have just read. We go to the book of Acts. In the beginning, Acts 1, he said, in the first book of Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up after he had given command through the Holy Spirit to the apostles who he had chosen. He presented himself to alive and after this suffering, uh, suffering by many proofs appearing to them during the fourth days speaking about the kingdom. One axe, axe one. Somebody can read for us who can go faster because I don't have time. And we will read here. Yeah. You can even read just four instead of the entire story. Just axe, axe one four. Continue. He's saying, Now, you know, Jesus is. Let me tell you, if I had come against our Mugulin, yes, one attack and Nazis Yokolewe. Now, no, I told him, Biju, Padela Kwambia, how I go, where's in your way? Your company made any man, or why? Mukimbi, Mwende Mwenda Mukahopidi. He's telling them, No, come watch it at college, go somewhere fast. About Gabber Yan Anum, stay somewhere. I want to send you the Holy Spirit. Don't leave Jerusalem, don't dare. My top manager, Salem, Mariotium. To leave Jerusalem, oh, man, then, Jerusalem before you receive the Holy Spirit. Don't go to evangelism before you receive the Holy Spirit. That is what he's telling them. Don't go and say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. In other words, this journey. You will not do it if you don't get the Holy Spirit. And he's saying, he's so important that I have promised to send him. And for that purpose, wait for the day, appointment, appointed day for you to be with him. Then now you can go out and evangelize. Have you minutes ago, they were locked in a room because of the fear of the Jews. But here in Acts, some few days after, they are here standing before people and saying, No, people of Jerusalem, Hallelujah. you, the Jews who are here, everyone here, these guys are not drunk. We are here by the power of the Spirit. He's not speaking before people whom he was hiding from Jews. When you don't have the Holy Spirit, you keep hiding. You cannot come out. That's why I was saying, Oh, Gelein, Hallelujah, Ivar, Ivar, missing. Dear man, and look on Kissam, I come back and be all Hallelujah, and I say, Missouri, market, one is was a view. Okay, was a con you, I come back on Missouri, Missouri, Unasema, Missouri, Tari, Mande, Unamalisa, Utoke, one is was a view and do will it. Okay, I'm open, I was a few and do. Now, I got a con. I get till go now. You, you don't want people to know that you are born again. That means there's something missing. That, that thing that should give you courage is missing. That's why you cannot evangelize to your uncles. And your aunties. Because you are not going to be able to do it. Because you are not going to be able to do it. Because you are not going to be able to do it. Because you are not going to be able to do it. 
Kwa ni bwa hata kinye kwa na toko boto dos kinye. Acha na wewe ukisifikiria hiyo kitu una miku yako inatetemeka. Mungu le Jehova kwa yanga ile ni imana yanga na mwa maenge Jehova mmoja mmoja. Wakisema hii Mungu ni mocha wacha. Ayenge Jehova ni mama lakini jang Jehova isi. Hii Mungu wa kweli ni mocha lakini miungu ni wengi. Jehova ni mama ngwata. Mungu wa kweli ni mocha. Lakini jang ngipta hii. Lakini miungu ni wengi. Ngipta ya Bwana ni ngapi? Lakini maja ngipta hii. Lakini si miungu ni wengi. Orot kinye msigis kipta ya na barota. Ata wakale walikuwa na mungu wa mfua. Ang na basis. Na wachua. Yige rasis ta subu yala. Wengine walikuwa kitasama chua subu. Uge ragi tia pige sentro liku giri keti. Uko sentro luwati walikuwa kiangali ya mti. Because nagi ya kenge chua bako tunyo watu. Kuli lokto ke wama ama ku lokto ke uniform. Amuni. Kuto standa na wachua bako kilake kumye kutu. Pitku lebe ndika nisa ku lokto ke kumye. Watu kama kiwangu kama mungu alikuwa moja watu wanye wanaenda kanisani wanye 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 He wants to know what is happening in your family. He wants to know. He wants to know what you are doing, even in the toilet. There's no secret. That's why he's saying whatever you do in the secret will be put to the open. That's why you're telling some men, sometimes you slap your wives in the bedroom in the night. Bishop, Ayuko, Watoto, Awako, nobody knows. But you think you nobody seeing, but in heaven one is younger. Hey, like It is open. Kauri has said, when he read there, we always think that it is a screen. The moment you enter that spiritual world, your sins begin to expose themselves alone. You feel, you, feel that, you feel that you are naked. Because there you feel that everything you ever did is known. And saying, Jesus told them, My church, don't go. Let us wait for the Holy Spirit first. I will send you the Holy Spirit. And then look at what he says. Now, verses, chapter, chapter 2 he says, The day of Pentecost arrived. They were all together in one place. That is Acts 2. And suddenly, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. How many have ever been in the meeting? And then, all of a sudden, The man of God arrives and then you see the flags. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. You have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. And then you have been feeling this is not normal. Like rushing wind came from heaven. Come a bandera ya Italy. Koto kiko kwa sisi bandera tabi tali go unon. Ako tini go unon. Ye hit kicho. Ako magole inguni. Kasar chaga tukul konge chen inguni. Kasar chaga tukul. Like rushing wind. So you are not on the on the blues. So you are not in the dark. So you now know. So you now know. Says, All of a sudden, came and filled the entire room, and divided tongues as of fire appeared to them, resting on each one of them, not on some of them. Hello. Can you read? Acts 2. Come After on. they waited now. King Eleo, guys, more man there. Big now, more kuo. Mungo che musi toke, kuna kitu mba natakal kuwa kutumia. Digi yo, kuwa. Jeo umetumiwa. Mungo ya tangi ni mungo. 
Tangia ulipotoka. Iwe uginyu. Ule. He say. Mwa kule. Yes. Kala agingo ite betu ta Pentecost. Kogi mi tukul kama sta agenge. Agi mangen sai nata nche na bunu kipsengwet ko uso net na use enkim na tete no. Agi nyegot kama gul olegi teben. Agi mangjinga lebuek chepche atin ko uche bama. Agi teben aga tukul eniche. Agi nyeche tukul tamir miri ane tilir. Agi to konga la lego tu swe galak ko uye gi gachi tamir miri at konga la. You remember what I said there, David? I, said, I don't oppose tongues in this church. But even speaking in tongues, the Bible says there should be order. Now, you have a gift of tongues. And then DG comes here and says, Oh, DG comes here and says, Oh, Robo Kayanda Mama Masha Kaya Baba Basi. Ah, Ria Mama. Can you say something? So what have you benefited? We are not saying don't use. We are saying if you don't know meaning. There's no interpreter. The Bible says no need. That's what Paul said. So I don't expect. I feel, I, I feel so much. It, it looks awkward when a pastor takes a microphone. And he's praying in the morning. And he said, Ria, Ria, Chuku, Chuku, Pa, Pa, Pa. And then when you're born, you're scared. And he said, Hey! Le ti ninja ta. Ta nyo kanan pake microphone ako lagi. Ta ya tenga ene ne tilin na pa Jesus Christo. Di berurbi ka benga na sa. Di tiya chwe Jehova. Di go ilap ke ye ngube ha. Le i baka akta nige guye na ile soe. Da le nga mga le ni tal. And then you go there and then there's no cripple working. And then when you want to do an upper calm, you have to get up Cripples get up and walk. But I just want to say to you. Lord, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, there is the introduction of false tanks. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You will never ask that. I want all of you to speak in tanks. I will never ask that. 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 Okay, <laughs> Be filled by tongues is okay. And I say it even when we pray. You are somewhere praying. And you are filled in the spirit. To go an extra, an extra mind. And it, it should be from the spirit. I pray. But I don't speak in tongues. Unless it reaches to a point I cannot control. And even Kwangu, if I feel that it's coming, what I do, I take my voice down. Then you feel like you are exploding because it's, it, it also comes in a koja kama moto. So you are praying. And you are trying to even bring down the voice, but sometimes, let a voice, the voice in a jaribu kuinuka una. Agi cheme chilti. Una pigana na sauti. Koti komangu sauti. Toya lugeta sauti. Paul says you can control. But now what is happening here is that like, the moment they were filled with all the Holy Spirit, what happened next was prayer. The moment they were just filled, they became prayerful. Mbaka, <laughs> 
He says, they now began to pray. And then there were some guys who were in the area who were wasikia. And they were amazed. That's it in verse 7. You know, thanks are funny. Eh? Have you ever asked yourself? Because he's saying here, some people from Kisi had come. Just read so that I don't say my own words. I want to, I want to finish here. He's saying now, the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit came, at this, from verses 5, and read very fast, yes. 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 Awakuomba <laughs> Yes, Lord Joba. Yeah, pray. So pray. Sir. That's from in fact from next week. Come and worship in Anzaba. It's in the more t-shirt. Samoja. So now that you worship. Kit is in the out t-shirt. That means the people who will be worshipping need to be in the church by six. Pray. Begin worship Kidogo Samoja. Pray for 30 minutes. Satatu. Worship in Menda. And everyone else is here. Another prayer for 30 minutes. Nesako <laughs> Wakilomu <laughs> They were now speaking in tongues, but they were not speaking in something understood. Someone else could hear and see what they are saying. Someone was here. Yeah. 
ak partik medoik ak elamik ak jemenya mesopotamia ak judea ak apadokia ak ponto ak asia different language ako moswek chebo libya chenegiten kurene o me gite inayo to nilkona tata siri ba ya ma ji ko so bide delay ko so be kyu Ni raba 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 igu rap sikide tile bi raba oligu ok na una mwambia tie kuna raba is it understandable anyway i'm saying is it understandable toski igu to and somebody hear what you are saying and say he's saying like this that is the need of interpreter to si much ko gastigi aga mako lagi imwa git na una ni i'm saying amwole even what i want for this church akot kina ama chen kanisan desire to be filled by the spirit mokinge ge nyiti ne tamre na tilil hallelujah the desire to be filled by the holy spirit and i'm not saying that when you are filled by the spirit you must understand even what you are praying because he's saying sometimes it is possible paul says sometimes there is need for an interpreter because there are, there are people who can speak but they don't know because you know what happens it is the holy spirit when the holy spirit comes he prays yanga jotwa bere tilil ko sohe mara go endi mutya msegis wenda wakale wana enda pole pole ile choba ne sabe ko wana sema bwana wishemene o mito ga ndengot ke go ko moya ngale bagol in one minute kuna luka ba ukipewa cha tamuka maneno 100 kwa dakika bring in the spirit iso enta min mid yet but when you have that gift lakini atinde ko nona wa ask to understand step igu yen nya luki igu yo pole pole Paula Kasema Ogero ngun Mukiniona chinsi Ah muja ngala lenguti kusirok tukut that is what police say Ninaweza kunena ndimi kuwashinda Lakini monga loli Lakini siwezi nikaongea Ngo majanga na amwa gupol Nataka niseme hapa tata pia nami kana Ogero ngun Mukiniona chinsi Ndona ngala lenguti te pasta so pasta rono Siwezi Lakini monga loli Kune kuoma kwa nini Asaki negose Afadhali niombe kila ambacho unasikia Is saying now The first characteristic of the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Because if you see again, now the courage began to arise. They went out to evangelize. Doing and the Holy Spirit was with them. Some people here have never evangelized. Even to one person. They are here saying, you know what, Bishop? I'm also feeling. Are you know what? ngoma <laughs> wakati umeokoka Jesus <laughs> Itakuwa ngumu Messi akwambia karibu nyumbani ulikuwa umeokoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wengi mchungaji mwaka. Hawaendi ite kwa upendo. Nilikuwa na furaha sana. Kiaba hivi tukina wageni wako mareta ngapo ambao tu. Na nikoka barune tanga. But saying now. Lakini moyo wangu ni wangu evangelize better and strongly. Kote mache ya mda ngugera. Ni makini ya tabu na tili. Mama pasta mtai. Mama pasta mtai. Useme kwa kusa kuseni kwa tumba yeye. Matimo yake. Lakini nauliza. Lakini yote bwana. Wewe kama mama. Ndiye go imba. Kwa kanisa. Leo kanisa. Unaweza simama Sunday kabisa useme nimeenda kanisa Sunday na nimebarikiwa. Na unjaleta mgeni hata moja. Akwambia mtu tutaleta kutakenge. 
Kuonyesha kwamba huku geti kwa hiyo wiki kumtakia mtu mwingine. Ulienda ukaketa Because now the apostles began to do the ministry. Amun kina mchiki yao tawa yeboishi. I to come, but I will come. I still come home. You are very powerful in the church. You helped us a lot. Very powerful woman in the house of God. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for the mothers in the house. But what I'm saying today is this. Can you stand and say, have the Holy Spirit today? ジェブギ。やけこあのリポチェブギ。あたびでテラスだ。あ、君はこのようにに。ち、ママなんかじゃない。どうしやんべ、これ。今度僕が言うやつ。なんぼやんべ、ジョブ。ジェ、君が言う
people say there's a church in Rwanda, which is filled with the Holy Spirit. Where is that church that used to come here to pray early in the morning? I arrived here. I arrive here. I arrive. I do. And then the church is not yet here. To pray. What is that that holds you so much at home on Sunday? If the Holy Spirit was in you, He would tell you that on Sunday the first thing in the morning is to ensure that your feet are ready for the church. You go and pray. Your first must find the early morning prayer. It's a day of worship. Let me tell you my agenda in this place. My agenda in this place is that everyone in this church may have a personal relationship with God. May have a I want to read a time. Eh? My last baggage and bishop. Sir Lassima Utahutas go. Senior was up, it is an ugly. If you are good, open when you get it in a way where you go by. Jana to get a Mahali. I would go and get a game of Napata to talk about met. When I arrived in Kapatet, the Kapata Mama could have told to happen. You want to get Kapatet, get your mama was not on a tapica. I'm going to say, 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 are you able to take up your place at any time? To take up your task, to be up to task at any time without being without a proper setup, but this is a charge setup. For me, if I go evangelism, I can even pray for you on the road. I tell you, let us pray. Lost in the 
The Holy Spirit should come upon us, should make us to pray, should make us to seek Him, should make us push us to God. I say, the Holy Spirit is like a vehicle, He comes like this. You begin being obsessed with the things of God. And I think that because of the rain, we will soon bring the fellowship we've been having in the sun. Yeah, Oh, <laughs> And Israel, the tension. And Israel, Jews Israel were acquired jets. They know in Israel, who acquired jets? Jets, jets, jets. Fifteen. Can you say you were bored yet? Can you say you were bored yet? Can you say you were bored yet? When you see Israel preparing for a war, you don't have a war to lead. You hear Israel conducting their war yet? You know, you're not going to get to know what they're the Messiah is coming. And the men and mightiest prophets of the Lord, they gave this prophecy the moment they just arrived to this nation. You can see how he declared that rain comes, and in the same day, rain was coming. How he declared that rain comes, and in the same day, rain was coming. You can see how outside is cool. Rain is coming like this. We don't have time. COVID came. And we are easily forgetting. That, that was an end time pandemic. Some of us even don't, no longer remember the locust. I mean, it has passed. <laughs> the Messiah is coming. If there is any time now to set aside your time to look for the Holy Spirit is now. When you hear there is a fellowship, let me tell you. There is you even have more power, more. You know, when the believers join together, you pray. You that's why he did not tell the disciples everyone go to your house I will reach you there see what I've made the option 
We will come here and seek the Father. We will seek the Holy Spirit. In this Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we cannot continue sinning. In the house of the Lord. And God are Jehovah. We always say, What mama are you to Amen. <laughs> We need the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you. Come out of the room. 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 Come out of the that's why you can find somebody's worship. 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 You can are you still with me? To sake me tin kibakenge. Ako sa tachu to grobe. Ni naisi mu patencha. Robani to ambe mi dinat. Ja ya rom takativo. Ye chutti robe ta tam ye ye tu ne nyor tamri ta you will appreciate and say that was the best thing I ever desire. He's saying, desire the Holy Spirit. These Christians are visionless. The current day Christians are, have no vision. And you're going to be able to do it. I remember on this week when the mega prophet says, prepare as if every minute the Messiah is coming. Yeah, and every minute. The Messiah is coming. He said, prepare as if every minute the Messiah is coming. Immediately. 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 Don't procrastinate. Because you come and believe. You must eat. You must eat. You must eat. You must You must You must eat. You must eat. You must eat. You that's why gayism is in the church. Not an amenemitan case in Kansa. Not a man who fanana. Who
Matamani, Matamani, Anana, Matamani. Lord, we want to be like you. Natamani kufanana na wewe Jehovah. Kila mtu tufungua kinywa chako, mwambie natamani kufanana na wewe Bwana. Popote ulipo. Just speak to him and tell him, Lord, fill me with your power. I need your grace. I need your mercy. I need your Holy Spirit. Please, Father, set me your Holy Spirit. Set me your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We have desired many things for a long time. We have desired healing. We have desired good things. But blessed people, this is the time to put away all other desires and just desire one thing. The Holy Spirit of the Father. This is the time to desire Him. Throw away all requests. He knows that you are not well. He knows that you have a problem in the family. He knows that you have a problem with your children. But can you take a break from your problems first? And just ask him for the Holy Spirit. Tell him, Father, if there's anything I need in my life, is that you may fill me. Even as a worshiper. Even as an usher. As a as a leader in this house, I desire your faith. Feel me, Father. Feel me, Holy Spirit.